Before we get started, this type of work should only be performed by a qualified individual or business. If you're not sure what you're doing, working with your vehicle's electronic components can be dangerous not only to you, but to your vehicle as well. Welcome to another how to with your friends here at the dash cam store. This is the third and final installment in our how to identify series. Today we'll learn how to identify a proper ground point. Let's begin with what a ground point is. A ground point acts as the conductor between a negative terminal and a positive terminal. Previously iterated in our how to identify constant and switch fuses video, your vehicle uses electrical circuits just like the ones in your home. A vehicle is a closed circuit system energized by the battery of the vehicle. These circuits supply power to the electrical components located throughout your car, such as your headlights, your radio, and your door locks. Think of the ground point as the bridge between your vehicle's electronic components and a supply of energy. Now let's talk about the importance of having a quality ground point. Devices may not operate at all or may function intermittently if using a poor quality ground point. Bare metal is an ideal ground point because paint or rust can act as a resistant coating or as an insulator over ground points, making it less conducive for electric currents to travel. Unpainted and rust-free metal is ideal because it allows the electric waves to travel and complete or close circuits without any interruption. Quality ground points can conduct an unlimited amount of electric currents, allowing your devices to operate properly as well as minimizing the harmful risk of stray voltages and static buildup. In another scenario, you may come across a poor quality ground point covered in rust or paint. This low quality ground point may allow your devices to function intermittently, but in most cases, a bad quality ground point won't allow your device to operate at all. Eventually, it can lead to deterioration of electronics and loss of electrical performance. Now let's discuss the best type of ground points. The best type of ground points are the existing factory points on your vehicle. Factor ground point locations vary by manufacturer but they tend to look like bolts or metal studs. For example, in some vehicles, you can locate a metal bolt or stud by your glove box or behind a removable panel on either the driver or passenger side of your vehicle. After finding a factory ground point, make sure to check that the point is bare metal. If there's an interrupting coating on your factory ground point, you have the option of sanding off the paint and or rust. You can also search your vehicle for another ground point if the point you located isn't being conductive due to rust or paint. Remember, an interrupted ground point will have reduced flow of electricity to your devices. For example, if you have a dash cam that requires 12 volts to operate, but is only receiving 8 volts of electricity because your ground point has rust or paint on it, this will lead to your dash cam operating intermittently or not even turning on at all. Although factory ground points are the best, there are also alternative ground points to consider. Alternative ground points can be bolts, studs, and screws connected to your vehicle's frame. In some cases, all bare metal on your vehicle's body can be used as an alternative ground point, as long as it isn't being interrupted by any of the factors we listed before, such as rust and paint or anything else that may interrupt an electric current. There's also the option of manually installing your own ground point if you don't feel like searching your vehicle for another viable point. Though installing your own ground point is an option, it is best to use an already existing ground point if you're not confident with your installation capabilities. Whatever location you choose, it is critical that the mounting surface is bare metal and that the ground point is in a convenient location so you can easily access it for wiring purposes. Another location for a proper ground point can be the battery negative terminal. Although it's always an option, sometimes it is dubbed as non-desirable because it is usually located under a vehicle's hood. A battery negative terminal means that the vehicle's steel frame or chassis is directly connected to the negative side of the battery by a negative battery cable. Though the battery negative terminal is usually located under the hood of vehicles, different car manufacturers may have the battery terminal in a completely different location, such as under the trunk of your vehicle. Meaning if you were to use the negative battery terminal to ground your dash cam, you have to arrange all the dash cam and electrical components from the location of your battery into the interior of your car where your dash cam will be mounted, which is very inconvenient. Today you've learned how to identify a proper ground point. You've learned how to distinguish the best quality points from the bad ones, as well as alternative ground points. And you've also learned about the battery negative terminal as a ground point for your vehicle. In this series, we begin with how to identify your vehicle's fuse type. 
In our second video, we discussed how to identify constant and switch fuses. And then today in our third and closing video of the series, we've covered the topic of how to identify a proper ground point. Thank you for watching, and as always, drive safe. Now recording.